The following video is dedicated to beginners who are just starting to administrate their Fortigate. This is a free 15 minutes masterclass. So let's start. So here we have the 48 administrator page. You can configure the different settings either by using the graphical user interface or by using the command line. We will mix between the two. I can tell you that using the command line, you will have access to much more advanced settings. Now, as for methodology, we will start with the administrator account. We will move into creating new interfaces creating a static route, creating a policy, a policy that will match the traffic and will choose either to deny the traffic or to allow it. Then we will move to our security profiles. We will see how we can configure the antivirus, the web filter, application control, and so on. And from there, we will move into different settings that will make configuration much more strict into our purposes. So let's start. All right, so the very first thing to remember is that you're the administrator of that 40 gig. You have lots of responsibilities, starting from backing up the configuration and creating policies, interfaces, different settings, different authentication rules, for your users. Now, if you will go over to System Administrator, the very first thing that you will need to do is to harden make your account much more strict by using either a 40 token and trusted host. So you can actually configure specific IP addresses that you will log only from there. You can do it either using the graphical user interface or by moving into the command line. Here we will use the config system admin. And let's just edit the relevant profile, which is admin. Now, here we can set different configurations to our admin profile. If we use the show full config, we will see the full configuration either setting up trusted host or even setting up a two-factor authentication by using an email account that is possible only on the command line. All right, so we have our admin account. So now let's move over to network interfaces. And this is the topology that we need to configure. This is a very basic SMB topology. You have your LAN, which is connected to one interface on your FortiGate, and you have your DMZ, where your server sits, which is connected to another interface, and you have your ISP router, which is connected to your WAN interface on your FortiGate, which is this WAN interface. So let's start by configuring the LAN interface and the DMZ interface. So choose your interface of choice, edit, now name your interface, I will name it LAN, and choose its role. Different roles means different settings, but our role currently is LAN. We will configure the, um, the IP address of the gateway itself, that is 10.0.4.1 slash 24. Another thing that we need to configure is the administrative access we will use HTTPS to connect to that interface we will also allow ping and we need a service a DHCP service that will run on our interface so that host that will connect to our interface can ask for IP addresses and we will apply that using the pool which currently is up to 254 we will set it to only 50 IP addresses. You can head over to the more advanced DHCP server and assign scopes, assign specific IPs to match um, your host MAC address, but we will not do so. Device detection allows your 48 to actually detect the type of devices that um, runs on your network, that is, 
either an Android, a Windows PC, a Mac computer, and so on. It does so by looking at its MAC address, user agent, TCP fingerprint, and other methods. You can also enable captive portal on your interface. We will not do so. So that's it for our LAN interface. And now let's configure our DMZ interface. So let's edit it, name it DMZ. Now the role will be DMZ and once you do so, you will see that you don't have a DHCP server on that interface. Since as a best practice, do not allow DHCP service on your DMZ. So let's configure its IP address 10.0.5.1 slash 24. We will only use HTTPS as our administrative access. And that's it. Now we have two interfaces. One is dedicated to our LAN and the other one is dedicated to our DMZ, our WEN interface. Let's just edit and name it WEN so it will be easier when we configure our policy later on. All right, so now we have our interfaces set up and the next thing to do is to manually configure a route entry that will allow all packets to flow towards the uh, gateway interface, that is our WAN interface, and from there to the internet. So we'll move to network, static route. Let's configure a new default route. Our gateway interface sits on the when interface and its IP address is the 10.0.3.1. We can determine the priority of our static route uh, and its distance using the following configuration, but we will not get into it. You can see I have dozens of videos that are dedicated to the different routing attributes of your 48. Okay. So now we have one static route which actually tells different packets that if you wish to go to just about any destination that doesn't have its own routing entry in the routing table, move to the gateway at the 10.0.3.1 using the WEN interface. And now let's move and see our new entry, our new route entry that we have just configured. We will do so using the command line, although you can do so also using the graphical user interface. So get router info, routing table all. And there you see you have a new static route that actually points to the default route via the 10.0.3.1 one IP address. All right, so we have our interfaces, we have a static route, and the next thing to do is actually to create the policy itself, that the policy that will allow packets to flow from interface to interface by matching the traffic and seeing if it is denied or allowed. So to create a policy, we will move over to policy and objects, IPv4 policy, and create new. The first policy that we wish to create is a policy that will allow everyone in our LAN to get out to the internet using any service at any time. So let's just name our policy full access. The incoming interface is our LAN interface. The outgoing interface is our WAN interface. The source, we will not limit, uh, we will not limit users, so we will just allow anyone to get out. Of course, if you need more granular control over your policy, you will create firewall address objects and you will define which one can get out and which one cannot. You can also create user groups and users. Destination, all. We are not limiting the traffic to uh, a specific place. Anyone can get out to anywhere. Scheduling, always. Service, again, we can limit it to specific protocols, but we will keep it to all. Now, the action is accept. 
The other thing to note is the inspection mode, which will uh, which we will look at when we create security profiles. We want our uh, traffic to uh, be netted. That is, our traffic currently happens on our private IP addresses, but when we go out to the public internet, we need to translate our IP addresses to the public front interface of our FortiGate. So that's what we will do. And we can configure the different security profiles. We will do it very soon. Now, in terms of logging, we don't want only security events to be logged. We want all sessions to be logged. So we will enable all sessions. Okay. So now we have our first policy, which is the full access policy. All right, so now let's create our second policy for the DMZ. And from the DMZ point of view, let's just allow uh, traffic that comes from the internet towards the DMZ. From, uh, for our purpose, let's just make it from anyone, but uh, in your environment, just configure it um, uh, based on your needs, security, policy, events, and so on. Um, destination, all we can, of course, configure a specific, that's, you know what, let's just configure an address for our server. Let's assume that we have a web server that anyone can access using HTTP and HTTPS. So let's name it web server. We will use the 10.0.5.4 um, slash 32 so we will um, so it will point out exclusively to that web server now the service can only be http and https we will use the different security profiles and we will log all sessions Okay, so we have a second policy that is towards our DMZ, but now the traffic comes from outside towards a specific web server, and we have only allowed uh, the HTTP and HTTP service. Now, once you finish up with your different policies, you will need to apply the different security profiles. For that, you will move over to security profiles. Choose the one that suits your security needs. You will probably choose antivirus, web filter, maybe application control if you want to control applications that your users are using. And once you create a security profile and name it, you can enable it in your policy by going to the policy page and select which profile is needed. All right, now the last thing to do is to move to your system settings and choose the appropriate settings that will make you feel good while you administrate your 48, either in terms of how much time do you want your idle timeout to be, how do you want to customize the look and feel of your FortiGate? And do you want to use any other email service other than the FortiGuard email service? So you can do all that. Now, we have actually looked at the basics of putting up your FortiGate in a typical scenario. If you want to learn more, please subscribe to my channel. I regularly upload two to three videos every week.